Hello. Um, I'm going to have a go at doing this in T-splines. The problem is if that's been swept from cross sections, um, and um, it's difficult to cut and boolean and mess about. So I've sort of got a different approach to T-splines. Um, get rid of that. <coughs> um, so I've drawn some curves just to save a bit of time. Uh, and from that, we're going to do a sweep one. Um, surface sweep one. We go from that, that to that to that, and that's giving us that surface. Okay, that. Now the problem with that is that's not good for T-spines because it's too um, complicated. So we're going to rebuild it. Um, oh look, twenty-two and six. That's about right. Not that I've rehearsed this before. Um, so we're going to go with that. Um, that gives us something like that. Um, you now, if we bring our T-splines up there and um, convert that into a T-spline, um, we select edges and then we pick these edges here. Um, let's turn it off to make it easier. That one, shift on that one, that one, and that one, that one. That one and that one. So there are edges. Uh, maybe that one and that one. Yeah. And then we're going to weld these together with a weld command, which is weld edges. That gives us that shape. And a bit of an ugly duckling thing there, but we don't worry about that too much. Now I think this is more curved in the um, the newer version. So let's bring our uh, point her back on. Uh, I you what, we'll, go into that. we'll just bring this down a fraction, something like that. Uh, maybe bring that in a little bit there. Oh, that looks nice actually now. Hmm, maybe not. Anyway, bring that out a little bit. Bring it up a little bit, uh, something like that, and then what we need to do after that is thicken, select the teeth pine to thicken, and then I don't know what you go, sort of uh, one mil is it, point nine, something like that, and then if we select this, um, oops. get them and but oh, we don't want our curves so we'll, and we'll delete that and then we'll select that mode um, and select that mode and that's it's not the exact same shape we have to spend a little bit of time um, sorting stuff out but, but Click on that one, pull it out a touch. Uh, anyway, you get the general idea, um, but it's all nicely hollowed, it's all uniform thickness. Um, you're best doing the editing before you thicken it because if you start editing the outside, that will change you more the thickness. Um, but it just depends what you're working to. But there you go, I hope that helps. Another method of doing it. I know it's not perfect there, but. It's up two minutes. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Cheers now. Bye bye.